In a heavily resourced and documented article at AmericanThinker.com titled Barack Hussein Sobarka by Jason Kissner, we find some amazing discoveries regarding the identity problem of Barack Hussein Obama. Jason Kissner is an associate professor of criminology at California State University, Fresno. Following is an edited synopsis of that article with an absolutely surprising find by the P.P. Simmons staff at the end of this video. One of the unexplained mysteries in the all-but-missing documentation of the early life of Barack Obama is the appearance of the name Sobarka as his last name on an official document filled out by his mother. We are in possession of Stanley Ann Dunham Sotoro's 1968 application to extend her 1965 passport for an additional two years. Her passport, by the way, is now reportedly destroyed. On the second page of the application, Ann Dunham attempted to exclude her son Barack Obama, or Sobarka, from her passport. But the item has been crossed out, perhaps on the advice of the consulate in Jakarta, as this would have left seven-year-old little Barry passportless, so the exclusion did not happen. The appendage, Sobarka, seems to indicate a name change or a change in citizenship status for the boy. But there is a very good and surprisingly simple explanation for the seemingly random appearance of the name Sobarka on Obama's mother's passport application. Believe it or not, the reason appears to be linked to Loretta Fuddy. That's right. The same Loretta Fuddy, the Hawaii State Health Director, who approved the release of Obama's long-form birth certificate and who recently and mysteriously died in a plane crash off the coast of Molokai. Obama's mother and Loretta Fuddy have one very strange factor in common. Both have been directly linked to the Subud cult, which originated in, of all places, Indonesia and was founded by the Javanese Muslim Mohammed Sabu. The small cult appears to have around 20,000 members worldwide. Fuddy's cult member name was Diliana. Her official position was regional helper. Note also that the World Sabud organization seems to have been based in, of all cities, Chicago. Wow, think about it. Indonesia, Chicago, Hawaii, three locales linked directly and very importantly, to Obama's life. We also know from a Hawaii Advertiser article that Sabud was introduced to Hawaii in the 1960s. Obama's mother was directly linked to Sabud by her biographer and New York Times reporter Janie Scott in the book A Singular Woman, The Untold Story of Barack Obama's Mother. This book was reviewed by the New York Times. So this is a heavily documented fact. Loretta Fuddy worked her way up the ranks and became chairwoman of Sabud USA, based in Seattle, from 2006 to 2008. But note that of all the persons that could have been installed as director of the State Department of Health in Hawaii, Hawaii chose Fuddy, a leader of a small cult with roots in Indonesia and connections to Barack Obama's mother. Secondly, remember that Fuddy assumed the directorship position in Hawaii in January 2011 after being appointed by Hawaii's governor just a few months before the release of Obama's long-form birth certificate. Changing one's name for spiritual reasons was something frequently done by followers of the cult Sabud. And Stanley Ann Satoro was, in fact, closely associated with Sabud. We know that. It is reasonable, then, to suppose that Subarka the name chosen for Obama on that passport arose in the same way new names for others, like Deliana Loretta Fuddy did. But remember that the name Sobarka appears in the passport renewal section labeled Amend to Include or Exclude Children. The name Barack Hussein Obama Sobarku is crossed out. This signifies that Obama's mother had apparently decided to exclude Barack from her passport renewal. Apparently, Stanley Ann Dunham Satoro changed her mind about the exclusion. Perhaps this was done after having been informed by the consulate there that doing so would leave Barack without a passport. But there is another possibility, one just as valid and even simpler. What if Obama's mother was trying to include Obama in the renewal, but she wasn't able to produce a birth certificate? And the Sabud name, Subarka, simply did not suffice legally. That could explain why the name Subarka 
appears nowhere else in any of Obama's documentation of which we are currently aware. But now for the real shocker in this entire matter. The staff at P.P. Simmons did some research and found an old picture of the founder of the cult of Sabud, one Mohammed Sabu Sumohadi Wijojo. Do you see anything odd here? Think about it. Fuddy, Obama's mother Dunham, Sabud, Hawaii, Chicago, Indonesia, no birth certificate, Subarka on the passport, a dead Hawaii Department of Health director, the one who conveniently certified Obama's forged and fabricated long-form birth certificate. Are all of these simply odd coincidences, or is there something more here? I have a feeling we will soon know the truth.